Yes, good day, guys. Um, we starting with the revision now that we've finished the syllabus, and we're gonna start with question two point one. That is infection B. The first question, question two point one, that goes for about ten marks. All right. So question two point one is based on the structure of the alimentary canals, and if you need to get these ten marks, you need to know these three bullets. The comparison of the external and in uh, uh, structure of the ruminants and non-ruminants, and be able to explain the function and adaptation of the structures. For instance, if you talk uh, functions and adaptation, let's take for instance the gizzard or ventriculus. Its function is grinding. What are the adaptations? The small stones and 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 the muscular stomach because it has got those strong muscles and should be able to describe the internal structures of both ruminants and non-ruminants. Also very important is the terminology, which we also may, uh, call it concepts. So what you need to do here, guys, when you're revising, make sure that you cover this part. These are the answers, especially for question 1.3, question 1.3, even though uh, concepts spread throughout the whole paper. But uh, coming to the true uh, to this side so you find that you will be given this side the question will say give one word or term for each of the following true stomach true or milk stomach of a ruminant you must know that the answer is the abomasum end of digestive system the answer is anus ring muscles controlling the movement of food into the stomach cardiac swing so the best way to remember this is to know if it, this is the structure of the of, of the stomach and this is also fecus. And this structure here is the stomach, simple stomach of a pig. And then now you have the, your uh, small intestines. Uh, so you know that the, 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 the stomach of a pig is divided into three regions, cardiac, fundus, and pylo, pylorus. Ne? Pylorus. So it's easy to, to know that when the food comes in here, there are muscles that control the movement of food into the, into the stomach. So these muscles are cardiac, cardiac sphincter. So if you know these regions, it's easy to remember these sphincters. And then when food has finally been uh, digested, because there's both the churning, mechanical digestion, and, and, and the chemical digestion here, when it's finished, it must leave and there are muscles that control the movement of food into the small intestine, and we call this one pyloric sphincter. And then coming to the cecum, the uh, 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 part formed where small intestine mouths into large intestine, where the small intestine joins the large intestine, we call this one what? Cecum. Excretion of both feces and urine in the same opening, that one only happens in fowls, and we call that cloaca. Soft back like enlargement in the oesophagus of a fowl. So if it's that oesophagus, uh, what that dilates, uh, we call that crop for softening, moistening, and storing of food. So looking at the um, uh, rumen, reticulum, and omasum, okay, those three, we call them four stomachs. If you see only those three, rumen, reticulum, omasum, those are called four star for stomachs. Ne? But if it's only rumen and reticulum, only these two, we call it reticulo rumen. Reticulo rumen. So if it's rumen reticulum, reticulo rumen. But if it's rumen, reticulum, and omasum, then those are four stomachs. But if it's rumen, reticulum, omasum, and abomasum, then we call them complex. Com complex of four stomachs all right um listen uh this is the function of gizzard or ventriculus and these are the adaptation the small stones and the muscle stomach all right let us continue with the terminology i hope you so we said you cover this side here and look at only this side animals that have simple stomach we know those are monogastric or non-ruminants Tube-like structure that leads from the back of the throat into the stomach. We know that one. That tube is called oesophagus or gullet. 
leaf shape falls inside this the the the, the ruminant the the, the, land, the stomach stomach of a ruminant or it is called the third or the second smallest is the second it's not the smallest the smallest is the is the in terms of size the smallest is the reticulum followed by uh, omasum followed by abomasum and then rumen is the biggest ne? all right so um through and glandular stomach prove reticulus um uh, in, in fowls ne? ring muscle that control the food into the small intestine i've already told you that one is pylorax sphincter honeycomb shaped second stomach of the ruminant that one is reticulum also called net stomach ne? Uh, those honeycomb it's something that looks like this ne? So, like one two three four five six ne? honeycomb one two three four five six hexagonal yeah this look like this largest compartment of a ruminant rum, uh, rumen animals that have complex stomachs we know that these are ruminants so the small intestines consist of duodenum jejunum and ileum ne, in that order there's tiny pro finger like projection projection of growth found in the small intestine villas all right and guys you must know that the monogastric uh single chambered whilst the ruminants have got four four uh, uh, chambers ne? all right so and you must know that the monogastric are uh uh um the monogastric are uh hind gut fermenters hind gut i don't know where where is that Let, let's see where it is all right okay i'm here the ruminants the ruminants are they regurgitate we know that ruminants are four gut fermenters because they ferment through their four stomachs and we said the four stomachs are rumen reticulum and omasum you don't include abomasum and then monogastric are hind gut fermenters through the uh, the, the hind gut all right let's continue with the um comparison of these uh, three very important uh, farm animals so this one would be referring to pigs and this sorry fowls pigs and then cattle the, you, as you can see so you should be able to just look at it once and you know what it is so when it comes to the mouth the uh, the the fowls has got no amylase, no teeth. The fowls only have a a beak, and uh, pigs have got amylase and 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 teeth. Ne? saliva amylase and 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 teeth for amylase chemical digestion. Teeth mechanical mechanical digestion. So both types of digestion you find them in pigs. But here you only get mechanical. There's no mechanical, there's no amylase in ruminants. All right. Coming to usophagus, usophagus in crop, it dilates to form a, a, a crop, this bag like enlargement called crop for, for storage and land and, and, and moistening. But usophagus is the same for monogastric and, and also the, the cattle because it does the peristalsis it consists of these muscles for contracting and even here uh, but but in 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 cows also we get a, not only peristalsis but also retroperistalsis that is reverse peristalsis for rechewing of the of the cut you know that coming to the stomach the stomach the stom the stomach here consists of two separate parts the c which is proventriculus and the next one is the ventriculus so the stomach of of, of fowls but with pigs it's only the the simple stomach with all those parts that i said uh, pile uh, cardiac fundus and pylorus the rumen in ruminants we have four compartments rumen um, rumen uh, reticulum uh, 
as you can see, Roman reticulum or masam and abomasum. As you can see, we said abomasum is the smallest, but you can see 5%, followed by omasam, 7%, then abomasum, uh, 8%, but Roman, it's 80%. <laughs> it's the biggest. All right. Uh, coming to the small intestines, the small intestines uh, consist duodenum, jejunum, ileum. In all, you can see that there's no subdivision here. It's the same in all animals. Ne? And um, the small intestines in, in, uh, uh, are mainly for digestion and absorption in the animal body. So you know that there are different uh, glands. You have got liver that secretes bile. Ne? through the bile duct, through it, it duct as the small tubes that transport uh, the, the bile into the duo, duodenum. Ne? All the secretions happens into the duodenum. And then another one we have, another gland that we have is the pancreas. Through the pancreatic duct, it secretes pancreatic, pancreatic juice. This pancreatic juice also goes into the duodenum. And we also have duodenal glands, duodenal glands that secretes duodenal, duodenal juice also into the duodenum. And we also have uh, glands of Lebacum or intestinal glands, Inte intestinal glands or glands of Lebacum, uh, which secrete Saccas entericus. Saccas entericus, or we can say it's intestinal juice, intestinal juice also secreted into the duodenum. So all these glands, hence the small intestine is the main region of digestion and, and absorption because there are so many secrets, so many juices. All these juices have got enzymes. Okay? You must know the, the enzymes that are, we will, we will actually will go will deal with that one. All right, lastly, guys, I want us to look at, uh, just finished the small intestine. We can see the small intestine consists of fillers and um, which are finger like outgrowths like we have seen with the lymph vessels for fat digestion. And once again, it's also very important to learn, to learn the adaptation of the small intestines, that it is long, contains many folds, has villas and the involuntary muscles that are moving for as peristalsis so you need to know this and then the two glands as we have explained the large intestines consist of cecum which joins with the small intestine also known as blind gut the colon and the rectum where you get the feces and then lastly the anus the end that is in fowls is that cloaca where you get a, a, a feces and urine excreted in one hole and then in other animals you get the the anus and then uh, looking at uh, the difference between an adult ruminant and a newborn calf this one is an adult as you can see it's well developed rumen is huge but here rumen is very small and instead of that rumen you see that tube there which we call also fecal groove to transport milk from the mouth into the apomasa. You see apomasa. Reticulum also poorly developed. You can see it's very small. Roman reticulum, omasum also very small and underdeveloped. But apomasa is nicely developed. Okay, guys, uh, this is this was question two point one. See you with the questions.